Hey guys, Diamond Painting with Ruby Q here. Okay, so remember when I said that I was going to be making candles? Well, today is the day. So what do I have here? I have natural soy 464 wax, and this is 10 pounds. I have some mason jars, eight ounce with lids. I got my, um, what is this freaking pot? I have the little canister that I'm going to be putting my wax in to melt. And this is called the low temp method making uh, soy candles. I've never done this, guys, so this is going to be a first. Um, I have some wooden wick wick clips. Um, and then I have all these wooden wicks, which is like a sample pack that I bought to see which works for me. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. I have some candle science. Um, scents so i have honeydew melon and blueberry cheesecake and i have my recipe right there so let's get into this okay so what i did right now was i just picked four bags and it gives you the width and height um it tells you what wick it is so this one's original wick 0 0.40 and it is 1.16 millimeters whatever um, and then here's another one, so on and so forth. So let me take them out to show you how they each look. Okay, so this one is the original wick, okay? This one is the original booster wick, and booster because um, it has that little middle strip, so it makes it a little bit thicker in the middle. It does a different kind of burn. Um, here is another original different size as you can see this one is a lot uh, smaller than this one um, and it's also a lot thinner and then here we have a original booster wick um, 0.51 millimeter so as you can see this one is way smaller than the 16 millimeter I think I'm getting that right yeah okay this is like all confusing to me, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just don't know how to explain it, guys. Remember, I diamond paint. I don't candle make, so this is a first. Um, so when it comes from what I've learned, when it comes to candle making, you have to pick a wick that will go with your jar and the ounces that you want. So this one is too big. This one will be too wide, and it just it's not going to be good for this, this size. This is 8 ounces, so we're not going to use that. Um, I might just have to use this one. So what I'm going to do is, so you see how it, it, I think this one would be good. I'm going to check the other sizes to see which one um, I pick. But I also think, let me see, I think that, I think there's different ones in each pack. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I bought this a while back, so I just have to check. I'll be back. Okay, so I was right. Um, they have different widths. Uh, Four different widths, width, and um, one pack. Okay, so what I have done is I have picked out the same width of each um, wick, and they are all five inches long. And I think that these will work good, and I'm going to have to trim it a little bit for an eight-ounce candle. That is what I believe. So this is kind of like a little experiment to see which wick is going to work. Um, I am going to be using all these all this, these candles myself just to experiment because if this works out, I'm thinking about selling candles. So we'll see, guys. Let's get to it now. Okay, guys. So here I have uh, two pounds of wax, three ounces of fragrance, and here is the coloring I'm going to add once the wax is cooled down. Once this pot is boiling I'm going to be putting this in there like like this in there and I'm going to be waiting for this to melt I'm gonna stir it and I'm going to check the temperature with a thermometer okay so Mm, I thought it was going to cover all six jars, 
but it only or all eight jars but it only covered four so yeah the dye is really strong so it made it almost like a purple black um but that's fine um we'll see how this turns out guys because i'm not sure um i'll put right here in the description the temperatures so what time i took it off the stove um the temperature i put the dye in the temperature that i put the fragrance in and the temperature that i poured it into the jars all right so we shall see oh my gosh i'm so excited okay so the wax is starting to harden and it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually like a light purple. Um, and again, I only used four different types of wicks. Um, so we shall see how this candle is going to turn out and how it's going to burn. Um, and here is the corresponding bag, so yes take a screenshot if you'd like that one here we have this one and this one um yeah so that's this is pretty cool um so as you can see like the thickness of it they are all different um it's the same height and everything but thickness is different um i know that this one is i think they're all three fourths so yeah i i think it is let me check i'll put it right here i think these are all three fourths in width um and they're all the same height and thickness differs so yeah hey guys i'm back okay so my candles have hardened and I noticed that there was some sinkholes and some cracking on all of them. Now, what does that mean? Um, it doesn't mean that the candle is the, uh, like, like it's a defect, okay? Like it's not going to work. It is going to work. Um, what happens is when your candle starts cooling off um, and hardening, it can create sinkholes and cracks because the wax doesn't have anything to attach itself to so since these are wick these are wooden wick candles it i don't know how to explain it but it's bigger than a regular wick that you would use on you know the candles you see like at bath and body works right um they're not rope these are wood so it's harder to adhere itself to it um, but it is fixable and I'll show you how it's fixable so this is where I introduce to you my Bic lighter <laughs> okay so if these candles um, are for you um, I guess it's fine if you use this because your wood your wick is going to um, probably change color you know if you're using fire on it obviously but um, this is just testing the uh, this the method that I used out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to melt this, and it's the wax is going to fill that little hole. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let me just turn on this light real quick, so you guys could see a better view of what I'm doing. Okay, so I don't want to turn on the wick, but I want to melt. I didn't want that to happen um so see that's that's the problem with this is that if you see so the hole is actually pretty big if you were making these to sell them then you wouldn't be able to sell them because you'd have to fix it you'd have to fix the problem so my candles actually turning on which I didn't want I didn't want it to turn it on but it's fine um we'll just leave it on for a little bit Okay, now it's off. Also, if you notice, um, the reason that it looks like this is because the wick is too long. Um, 
And as you can see, that sinkhole is actually pretty big. So I'm just going to keep doing this until that hole fills up. And what I'm also going to do is probably, I'm probably going to have to cut this wick a lot shorter. Okay, so I cut the wick and as you can see, see how it's bubbling a little bit? So it's filling that hole with the wax that I just melted. So when it hardens, it should have an even surface. Um, I'm going to try this with the other candles. I'm going to move this one to the side. So now that I know that this will burn like really bad, I don't want my house to catch fire. <laughs> I'm going to cut the wick again. So I'm going to do that on here. And okay, there we go. Let me do a little bit more on this side. Okay, so I'm going to try to off camera. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to try to burn off the, the edges because it'll all just go in towards the wick so that the wick itself doesn't burn. Um, and I, either way, I'm going to be burning these candles just to see how they work, to see which wick works best with this soy um, wax and jar. So I will be back. Okay, so here is the second candle that I just did. And as you can see, um, it did hide uh, the holes and that's what I wanted it to do. And the cracking. So we sh we'll see how it looks when it dries, okay? Put that to the side. Um, okay, so this one right here. This one's a little tricky because this one has, it looks like it has some cracking and three holes on in it so I'll point them out and sorry my kids screaming in the background um, there's a sinkhole there's cracking there's a hole right there and there's a hole right there these are sinkholes so what that means is that when I'm burning this candle when this starts melting you're gonna see little pockets in there and you don't want that so I'm going to fix that right now okay so you see how I said there was three holes well when, as I was burning it that's the sinkhole that it created as I was burning it all right, so on to the third candle, or the fourth candle. <laughs> okay, so I think that's going to be a sinkhole right there. And I think maybe right here. So we'll see when I burn the top. I'll be back. Okay, so I was right. That was a sinkhole. And from the looks of it, these little lines right here, that's more sinkholes inside of this candle. So the way you see how it starts, like you see the little bubbles, I think you can see them popping up from there. That means, so let me see. So right now it's hot, so this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so there it is. There is that big sinkhole. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna warm it up because this right here, that wouldn't happen if I did that like over here you see how it's just straight and then right here it's like really open okay so these are you got to make sure if you want to fix your candle um, you got to make sure that you're getting all that all that stuff okay and since it's already hardening if you don't want little chunks like this it's gonna look like jelly chunks when it dries so if you don't want that all you got to do is burn it again so let me show you and how do i know this because oops and it caught fire nope you don't want that right now um i've been watching a lot of videos and i was just you know um soy candles last a long time uh, i noticed that every time i buy Bath and Body Work candles, like, they don't last a long time. Um, and I was tired of spending so much money on candles that didn't last long. So, yeah, I was like, mm. And I bought all this stuff, guys. I bought all this stuff a long time ago. Fire again. Okay. So, I'm going to leave these out and see how they dry. I'll be back. Okay, so, oops, as they're drying, um, I can already tell you that these two are gonna look good and these two look messed up because um, I didn't, 
I only did it, like as you can see, I only kind of put the fire right here. This is the first one I started with. And then on this one, um, let me show you. I didn't even it out, so it's gonna look kind of wonky. Um, a way that you can prevent air bubbles or um, sinkholes or cracking is by actually warming up your jars to a certain temperature. I have to look up what temperature it is, but you warm up your mug, your ah, your jars, if you're using mason jars, so that it's hot. And when you pour your um, wax in, it'll be it'll be kind of around the same temperature as your wax, so it'll cool down with your wax, if that makes sense. Because when you're pouring it into your jar, your jar isn't cold. It's like, what, room temperature? It could be colder than room temperature, and it just doesn't, like, hot and cold, you know, like, it doesn't go. So you want it to be a little bit like the temperature in Fahrenheit, okay, because that's what I use. I use Fahrenheit as your uh, soy. And that way, it attaches to the wick better. It attaches to um, the jar better and you don't get all these little problems now scent wise guys i'm gonna tell you right now my room smells like fucking blueberries so i know that i did a good job mixing uh the amount of fragrance that i mixed in um it's pretty good and you can tell when it's not when there's like discoloration in your candle so let me show you so there is no disco discoloration in this candle it's just one color okay also you can also tell if you have a messed up candle if you see frosting on top that means that the fragrance lifted off the candle and just stayed on the top so none of these candles had that luckily um, and like this is a slow process method that I found on YouTube which I'll attach the link down below um, to that video and it's supposed to make it where it gives off a better kick of scent than if you were to do it like a like I don't know like a regular I don't know video like how to make soy candles I wanted to do it where I can get a strong and nice scent and more bang for my buck if that makes any sense <sighs> no pun intended <laughs> but um yeah I'll be back uh tomorrow I'll make another video tomorrow and I will try to burn at least two candles in separate rooms my whole house is going to smell like blueberry muffin and stuff but whatever and i'll tell you which wick worked um what bag it corresponds to because remember they're different sizes i mean the height is the same the width is different uh well i don't know how to explain it but you know what i'm talking about the thickness there you go Width and height, same. Thickness is different. So I will let you guys know. That way, if you guys want to make your own candles, um, hello, I can help you. Uh, also, I'll be making more candles on Saturday. So if you guys like this, I know you guys are just staring at candles right now. But if you guys like this video, um, if you guys want me to start making candles and like showing you guys everything let me know and i'll continue to do it because one i want to start my own candle company <laughs> business and i want to call it murder candles and actually this scent that smells like blueberries is called um ted bundy and i will explain a little later why i named it ted bundy so uh yeah if you know me you know i'm like super goth emo whatever i love true crime blah 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 all right well thanks for watching guys Comment below, let me know, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.